What's going on, race fans tuning in today? We're joining you from the Le Mans circuit for live coverage of the Moto2 race at the Grand Prix of France. The weather is great and the temperature is perfect for racing. So we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tires and which riders have opted for soft. Here we are live from the MotoGP class starting grid where riders and engineers are talking over the last few details before the start of the race. Hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see we're on MotoGP 18 once again. Uh, obviously there's a bit of a glitch going on the screen at the moment. Um, it's the cap coming through because I had to make him replace Bradley Smith. So I'll try and fix it. But uh, it's just a minor, minor bug, so it doesn't really matter too much. But obviously you can see today we are playing as Fabio Quattraro. And if you can... Well, actually, you've already seen the intro, haven't you? So yes, uh, you'll know that we are at Le Mans today. Another 2019 mod video. I know that I promised I'd do Chandra for this video. I know some of you really want to see that. But I don't want to keep oversaturating the same team. Obviously because I did, you know, a few weeks ago. The uh, the video with the other Indomitsu rider, but uh, the team name just completely escaped me there for a second. I'm not 100% sure why, but yeah, obviously I did a video with him the other week, so I don't want to oversaturate too much. And obviously MotoGP is going to be the main focus since that is the most important category. Obviously, it's also the most fun one. But uh, yeah, so apparently got 18 kilometer an hour winds in the northern east direction. So that's always interesting to see Happy Siren and Oliver at the front of the shot. But I know as well before you say anything that this bike sounds like a Ducati because I've heard a lot of people complain about it. Do you think I didn't know that? Do you think I've just decided, you know what, I like the Yamaha sound like a Ducati? No, obviously I've not done that. So it's like it's um it's just a file I can't change. I found the file can't change it though, so I'm sorry for that, but it's not it's not exactly my fault, so you know. At least actually at least the handle's like a Yamaha. I mean you've got that much, so you should you should be lucky. And I know obviously the uh, KTM also um handles that uh, sounds sorry like a Yamaha, but uh, again, I don't know, I can't change. So yes, a little rant over, so apologies for that if uh if you already understood that, but uh, I'll just I'll just putting it out there. The French Grand Prix. The riders are spread out on the grid. The light will soon go out, and the Le Mans race will begin. Yes, the Le Mans race uh, race race will begin. The lights are on. We've got the throttle on, pinned right to the end of first gear. Off the line we go. Let the clutch out. Not too excited in this one. We're trying to pull alongside Takaki Nakagami, so we're already past one position. Oh, we've hit Siren at the back, he's braked for no reason, so I'm not really sure what he's doing, but around the outside of Tita about now as we approach turn one. Actually, through turn two, apparently, that is. Oh, Bagnaya's hit us into Bombardelli, there's some stuff going on here. Oh, someone's up the curb. Oh, and I think someone's down. It's Alacious Bagger, Alacious Bagger has fallen off. Now we're behind us, but the Paul Jean-Mir was collecting that incident. So not good to see there, but obviously it is any game, so it doesn't matter too much. We're cutting on the inside of Rossi and Spagro into La Chapelle. Rossi's leading on us a bit though on the the other M1. Is he going to try and force his way through? We're on the curb here. We bumped a bit wide because of the curb, so Valentino has got his way back through. Is Paul Spagro going to be able to get his way back through? No, he can't. So we are back up into P9 once again. So we're on the brakes, getting ready for Garage Fair. My least favourite corner of the circuit. Paul Spagro has pushed us wide, so thanks there, bud. We're down into 10th position now, but we're running out wide. We've hit him a little bit because he's not happy about what he did. We're up into 9th once again. As we go flying down towards the chicane now. The S Bleu, I think it's called. Oh no, the Shims Ouf Bouf, or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce French stuff. We're out behind Rossi now as we go flying down towards his next corner. Late on the brakes on the east side. Four, five riders there. Five riders to the S Bleu. Riding us on Lorenzo. So five, a five man move there. So pretty, pretty good stuff there. If I do say so myself, we are now going into turn 13, clipping the apex. Lorenzo still trying to get back up the inside, but can't quite do it. On the throttle, through recordment, or whatever it's, however it's pronounced, I don't know. I'm not French. A 133-0 from Mark Marquez as we cross the line. We did a 34-2, so it's a bit slow, but we did have to pick off a lot of riders, including a five-man overtake there. So I think we can be let off a little bit for that. Maverick Vinales with Sandra Edovitziozo. 
it's going to be a bit of a tense battle between the two of them in the such stream oh no not quite in the such stream really because it's barely straight but Vinales is going inside of Dobby Vinales is with the second position we're closing up to La Chapelle use them all the road we can over the curb a little bit quite a bit more bumpy than it used to be on the old game pretty flat it used to be Oh, Andreas still trying to get on the side of Vinales. Is he going to be able to do it? Yes, he's through. So Vinales back down to the third position. Absolute ding dong. He's cut in front of him now. We're coming down towards Garage Bear. Will Vinales have an attack? He's actually doing his pretty brave stuff there. It's Garage Bear. He's up into third position. Sorry, second position. Dobby's down into third. Need to get my words right. But we've made no progress on this lap, so it's been uh, pretty bad. But we're on the brakes now into the chicane once again. Closing up quite a bit through the S-Chimin. Oof, woffs. <laughs> That's not how it's pronounced at all, but I like saying it. But now we're behind Dovi. Up the inside of Dovi and up the inside of Vinales. Still pretty good double moves, but not quite the five-man manoeuvre. And yes, I am not going to shut up about the five-man manoeuvre, because uh, I'm, I'm quite excited about it. I was really happy when I did it, I remember that. But now, once again... As usual, the rival is Mark Marquez. He's in the lead. We've run over the curb. But, oh, very bumpy curb. It used to be completely flat on the old game. So 28-1, much better than it was before. We are nine tenths behind Marquez now as we approach turn two. It is through Dunlop. We've shifted down quite a few gears. Now into turn three. Flick it over for turn four. On a roll. Straight away under the Dunlop bridge as we go through turn five. And now the run down La Chapelle. Turn six, we're now seven and a half tenths behind. Marquez right on the inside, but now we've ran a bit wide. We've gone to the throttle a bit early, so that's going to cost us some time bumping over the curb a couple of times. Petrucci passes Lorenzo now. We ran wide through Museum. Ran wide through Museum. That's allowed Marquez to get the high ground on us once again, so that's not good as we go flying down once again towards Gouge Vare. I know I say flying down quite a lot, but you know, it's just uh, a lot of the track is downhill, so it's not really a lot else to say. But Marquez has definitely extended his lead through Garage Fair. My weakest corner, as I said earlier. And if I'm making mistakes through corners like Museum, I'm just handing him the lead. Or well, handing him the win, even, should I say. I've messed my words up quite a lot, but through my favourite word corner, I'm not going to say it again, through turn 10. So we come flying down towards probably my favourite corner of the circuit because of that five man overtake, the S Bleu. We're pretty close to the back of Marquez now, but there's not enough time left. Through turn 12, we're about half a second behind him, I would say now. And you're flying into Potomac turn. So not going to be quite close enough, but he's ran a bit wide, we're trying to cut his tires, we go oh, bumping up the curb a little bit there, bumping up the curb once again, and over it once again. So we go to the line, another 28-2, I think that was, on the final lap, but not quite enough to catch Marquez, unfortunately. 6.8 tenths in the end of the race, but I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a good, good race, definitely. Last a second, not quite last a first, but, you know, you can't win them all. Yeah, so as I said, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall see you in the next one. It was a very intense weekend. Finally, the moment has come for the riders who put their talent on show to celebrate. With such an exciting race, these three guys deserve the applause of everyone under the podium.